Pimacrolimus, also known as Eli Del Cream, is used to treat eczema, atopic dermatitis, in people who cannot use or have not responded to other eczema medications, such as topical steroids. Eczema is a condition that causes red, irritated, and itchy skin. This cream works by changing the skin's defense system, thereby decreasing the allergic reaction that causes eczema. It belongs to a class of drugs known as topical calcineurin inhibitors. It is important to note that this medication is not recommended for individuals with a history of a certain rare genetic disorder called Netherton syndrome or for those with a weakened immune system, such as following an organ transplant. When using Elidel cream, it is important to follow the recommended dosage and apply it at the optimal timing as advised by your healthcare provider. Before using Elidel cream, make sure to read the medication guide provided by your pharmacist. It's important to wash your hands with soap and water before applying the cream to the affected areas of your skin. Your doctor will likely instruct you to apply a thin layer of the cream twice daily, gently rubbing it into the skin. Remember to wash your hands after applying the cream, unless your hands are being treated. If your doctor recommends a moisturizer, apply it after using Eli Dell cream. It's important to note that Eli Dell cream is for use on the skin only, and should not be applied to the eyes, inside the nose or mouth, open wounds, or infected areas. Your doctor may also advise against covering the treated area with plastic or waterproof bandages, and recommend not bathing, showering, or swimming right after applying the medication. Be sure to follow your doctor's instructions exactly, and consult with them if your condition does not improve after six weeks of using Eli Dell cream, or if it worsens at any time. When using Eli Dell cream, you may experience mild burning or irritation at the application site during the first few days of treatment. You may also experience headaches. If these effects persist or worsen, it's important to inform your doctor or pharmacist. It's essential to remember that this medication has been prescribed to you because your doctor has determined that the benefits outweigh the potential risks of side effects. Many people who use this medication do not experience serious side effects. However, it's crucial to contact your doctor immediately if you experience any serious side effects, such as signs of infection, like a persistent sore throat or fever. While it's rare, a very serious allergic reaction to this drug can occur. If you notice symptoms such as a rash, itching, swelling, especially of the face, tongue, or throat, severe dizziness, or trouble breathing, seek medical help right away. It's important to note that this is not a complete list of possible side effects. If you notice any other effects not mentioned here, it's important to contact your doctor or pharmacist. If you are in the U.S., you can report any side effects to the FDA at 1-800-FDA-1088 or at www.fda.gov slash medwatch. In Canada, you can report side effects to Health Canada at 1-866-234-2345. Patients have benefited from the use of pimacrolimus when it is used correctly. Long-term safety for this drug is not known at this time, and there have been rare reports of cancers in patients using pimacrolimus. It is not known whether pimacrolimus caused these cancers when used on the skin. Further studies to determine the long-term safety of this product are ongoing. In the unlikely event that unusual lumps, swollen glands, or growths occur, especially on the skin, contact your doctor right away. The FDA recommends the following, this drug should be used only if other drugs have failed or if other medications are not considered appropriate by your doctor. Pimacrolimus should be used on the skin for short treatment periods only. If needed, treatment may be repeated with breaks in between. Use the smallest amount that will treat your condition properly, and apply only on the affected skin. Also, this medication should not be used by children younger than 2 years. As with all medications, discuss the risks, benefits, and proper use of this medication with your doctor. Remember to contact your doctor if you have any concerns or notice any unusual symptoms. Before using Eli Dell cream, it's important to let your doctor or pharmacist know if you are allergic to it or if you have any other allergies. This cream may contain inactive ingredients that can cause allergic reactions, so it's important to talk to your pharmacist for more details. Before using this medication, be sure to inform your doctor or pharmacist about your medical history, especially if you have current infections, are using light therapy, or have any skin infections or immune system problems. It's important to note that this medication may make you more sensitive to the sun, 
so it's best to limit your time in the sun, avoid tanning booths and sunlamps, and use sunscreen and wear protective clothing when outdoors. If you get sunburned or notice skin blisters slash redness, be sure to inform your doctor right away. If you are pregnant, this medication should only be used when clearly needed, so it's important to discuss the risks and benefits with your doctor. Additionally, it's unknown if this medication passes into breast milk, so it's important to consult your doctor before breastfeeding. When using Elidel cream, it is important to be aware of potential drug interactions that could affect how the medication works or increase the risk of serious side effects. It's important to keep a list of all the products you use, including prescription and non-prescription drugs, as well as herbal products, and share it with your doctor and pharmacist. Do not start, stop, or change the dosage of any medicines without your doctor's approval. Some products that may interact with Eli Dell cream include topical steroids and other ointments, lotions, or creams. Be sure to discuss any potential interactions with your healthcare provider. If you or someone else has taken too much Eli Dell cream and is experiencing severe symptoms like fainting or difficulty breathing, it's important to seek immediate medical help. In the United States, you can call your local poison control center at 1-800-222-1222. In Canada, you can contact a provincial poison control center for assistance. Remember that Eli Dell cream can be harmful if swallowed. Remember, you should never share Eli Dell cream with others. It is important to use this medication only for the condition it was prescribed for, and not for any other conditions unless instructed by your doctor. If you need to treat a different condition, a different medication may be required. Make sure to attend all of your medical appointments while using this medication. If you forget to use a dose of Eli Dell cream, use it as soon as you remember. But if it's almost time for your next dose, just skip the missed one and continue with your regular schedule. Don't apply a double dose to make up for the missed one. Make sure to store Eli Dell cream at room temperature and avoid freezing it. Keep the cap on the tube tightly closed and store it out of reach of children and pets. When you no longer need Eli Dell cream or it has expired, make sure to properly discard it. Do not flush it down the toilet or pour it into a drain unless instructed to do so. You can consult your pharmacist or local waste disposal company for proper disposal methods. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the US, you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.